Next Tuesday, February 7th, is Election Day for about 200,000 people in Allegheny County. As political editor John Delano reports, one of the three special elections will be to replace the late Representative Tony DeLuca from Penn Hills. For the first time in 40 years, voters in the east suburbs will elect a state representative whose name is not the late Tony DeLuca. It's the 32nd District in Penn Hills, Oakmont, Verona, and half of Plum. And the candidates are Democrat Joe McAndrew and Republican Clayton Walker. I'm a firm believer that representatives have to speak for the people, not the party. And unfortunately, a lot of times when politicians get settled into a particular office, they lose sight of what got them there to begin with. Walker, a Republican who has lived in Verona and Penn Hills for the last two decades and works in healthcare customer service, is also a local pastor. He says high taxes, voter integrity, and the cost of health care are top among people's concerns, adding, I have a very good insight as to what issues and challenges are in this district. Number one, lack of, of business opportunities, lack of development. There's an increase in, in crime that's been taking place over the last couple of years. Democrat McAndrew of Penn Hills worked in the state legislature in Harrisburg and was executive director of the Allegheny County Democratic Party. He's on the Penn Hills Planning Commission and is chair of the Oakmont Chamber of Commerce. Well, I want to give back to the people in my communities. I have a skill set to do so, and I believe that I will be a really strong asset in providing resources and services to our area. McAndrew says he has the experience to deliver to the people of the 32nd on the issues important to residents. So they want you know, to feel safe in their homes and in their neighborhoods. They want to make sure they have stable transportation to work. They want to make sure that the work that they have are good paying jobs. They want to make sure that they are able to pay for the, re the food at the grocery store. Voters in the 32nd will vote on Tuesday, February 7th. There are three special elections that day. If Democrats win all three, they will take control of the state house. If Republicans win one of the three, they will keep control. So a lot is riding on these elections. John Delano, KDKA News.